Hey, I'm back. This is Chandler for Meller Production, and recently I've been getting some questions about M Drummer. One person asked me about exporting stems from M Drummer so you can get separate parts for, let's say, your kick drum, hi hats, etc. And another person asked me about exporting MIDI out of M Drummer. So I'm going to show you how to do both of those in this video, two for one. So here we go. First, we have M Drummer here, and we just have this basic pattern. Okay, easy enough. I'll show you a few ways to get MIDI out of here. The first one, maybe perhaps one you want to know, I think I covered this in other videos, but I'll show it again really quickly. You can take another drum software and just put it under M Drummer and it will play. So if you just want to do it that way, the MIDI will go out of M Drummer directly into that one. If you want it on another track like I have here, it's easy to just send it over like this. It's sending over audio also, but uh, I can turn that down and I'll just send the MIDI from there. So as I play it, I can just turn this down and it should play out of here like this. Okay, so there's a little bit of discrepancy there, and that's because it's using different drum keys or key map, I guess, whatever. So you can go into M Drummer here and use output MIDI filter, and you can change which note is uh, there for different things, like the hi hat. I could change this to a different note corresponding to what the other drum software needs. Now, I think there might be some here already, uh, and you might be able to even load some, trade some, etc. I think I might have done this one myself, but I'm not sure if I did a good job. So if you're not sure, just leave it on default, how it is. And the easiest way to do it is just use the other software, go into it and change its drum map. So in here, it should be fairly easy. Map window, set it to GM, general MIDI. So I believe M drummer uh, defaults to gen general MIDI. So now I have them both defaulted to the same thing. And now when I play it, it should be fine. So we got what we wanted out of that. Turn this off so it doesn't keep playing there. It gets loud. Delete. There we go. So we have that. That's one way you can get MIDI out of there. But if you want to record it or do something else, the next way you can take the song mode and you can put different things in here like beats, etc. in here. So here I have outro, but you can just click delete on that, any of those. So I'll make it shorter and then I'll put the outro in here, for example, like that. And this will play the whole song like this. There we go. Back there. Ooh. Don't double click it because then it's going to go to the pattern there. So like that. And there's two ways we can do it. One is the MIDI commands. So this is the way that I think M Drummer natively does it. You take it out here like this. And it's going to send MIDI commands out here. And on mine, the drum map is set up in Reaper here. It tells you which one is playing at a certain point. So this can be my whole song. It makes it really easy to export the songs and get things going really fast. So if that's what you want to do, you can do it like that. And then just in your DAW. Cool. No problem. Sometimes this is a problem because you think like, ah, oh, there's some things I might want to change in the MIDI for certain parts, and I don't want to keep going back into the rhythm editor and re messing with the song, etc. So for that, you can just use the MIDI, and this is going to output specific MIDI commands for the drum, bass drum, hats, etc. Uh, here, like this. So you can see here, these are like actual drum parts. They're not just commands, these are actual drum parts and it should be on channel 10. So if we play it now, it should play the exact same thing. There, so if you wanted to add something or take away something, you're like, oh, you know, I don't really like this uh, hit here, I wanna, reduce the velocity or increase the velocity or whatever. You can do that and manually edit every note afterwards if you want. So this can be useful and save you some time. 
So that's another way. Let's go into one more way because you might think like, ah, I don't want to export the whole song. I just want maybe like one drum loop or something. So for that, we're going to go into the rhythm editor. So here we have different beats and things here. So if you just want this, you see over here we have another little uh, arrow here. You can take this and drag it over like this. And we have, should be the same thing, MIDI. There we go, like that. Although I think I hit the wrong button, so it exported something that <laughs> I didn't want it to. And you can also export this to another drum program. Up, up, go, and then move it down here. So you see you can play in any other drum program if you want, or you can put it in your library, etc. So there's lots of things you can do with that too. So if you don't want the whole song, you can just export individual loops. You could do the same thing with like the break here. I just choose break 12. Pull this out, put it here. There you go. And it's the same thing as here. So that's another way to get MIDI out of there. And the last thing, you probably want stems. So this is not really even an M drummer thing. This is more of a DAW thing. But if you're not sure how to do this, Set up a track uh, using the instrument tracks and, like I said, you should have, I guess, 12 or 16 different tracks. So here it says M drummer 16 out. Before I used one out, we want 16 out. So it's going to give us 16 tracks. Okay, yes. Here. And it'll have all these here. It might be hard to see exactly what these are, the label. If you look at the bottom and you highlight it, you can see that this is bass, this is snare, this is snare two, this is snare four, blah, blah, blah. Etc. So we'll go into M Drummer again. I forgot exactly what I used. Maybe just acoustic. What I use? Funk. Make that funk two here. There we go. Unfortunately, it looks like everything is going out of there. That's a little bit annoying. But there's actually a way to do this. Let me see if I remember how to do it myself. Okay, I remember where it is. It's actually not in here. It's in the drum set editor. Go in here and go to advance, and it says default output channels. So when you do that, it should change the output of all the drums to the right place. So one, two, three, four, two is another snare that'll come out, etc. So when I play this, you should see things coming out of the different tracks here. Okay, so once we have that, all we have to do is just add our song or I guess loop or whatever you want here. I could just put this here, I guess MIDI, this, boom. Once I have that, whole song's finished. All you have to do is for each of these tracks, export them. So in Reaper, just go to File, Render, name it whatever you want, so like Test. Actually, I won't run this, you know how to export things. And then instead of Source Master Mix, just set selected tracks if I selected them, or in this case, I didn't select any, probably master mix plus stems. So it should give me a mix of everything together and each of these individually. This makes it really easy. It just does it for you automatically. This is how to do it in Reaper. It might be slightly different in your DAW. So depending on what DAW you have, search how to export the stems and you can do this easily. But now everything is on a different track. You can get your bass drum, snares, hi-hats, etc. separately and then mix them however you want. And of course, you can use whatever effects you want on these. But of course, remember, M Drummer itself has effects already built in. So if you don't want to use those, you can use whatever you want on here before you export those stems. So hopefully that gave you an idea of how to do this. It's really not that difficult, but it could be confusing at first if you don't know what you're looking for. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, give me a thumbs up, leave me any other questions or comments down below, and be sure to check out all the other plugins at meldaproduction.com. Till next time, see you.